this morning, I want us to look at two miracles that Jesus did and draw just simple lessons to encourage our faith. So the first miracle that we want to look at is in Matthew chapter 15. Here was this woman of Canaan. She was not a Jew. She didn't belong to the house of Israel. She had a daughter who was really troubled with demons. She finds out that Jesus is coming to her part of the country. And so she makes her way to Jesus. She comes to him. Have mercy on me. The Bible says he keeps quiet. Doesn't say anything. Just because he's keeping quiet does not mean you've got to stay in that situation. Or does not mean that situation is God's will for you. Don't come hurriedly to that wrong conclusion. And then Jesus reminds them. He says, look, at this moment, I've been commissioned only to minister to the people of Israel. Look at this woman. You know, first of all, the first time she came, Jesus is keeping quiet. He's not saying anything. Could be quite disappointing. Now the disciples are presenting her with a, a very difficult problem. You've got to belong to the house of Israel. And there's no way she could do that. But you know what? She says, I don't care. She calls him, Lord, have mercy on me. And she worships him. So he's saying, look, this healing. This deliverance that you're asking is really the children's bread. It belongs to people of the covenant. Those who have a covenant with God, it's their bread. Do you know this woman was so smart, so determined. She said, keep the bread, just give me a crumb. Just give me a crumb. Because the puppies can eat the crumbs that fall off the master's table. Just give me the crumb. I mean, that's what she believed. That even a little crumb is enough to deliver her daughter. And sure enough, her daughter was delivered that day. But let's focus on the children's bread. You and I are children of God. And healing, deliverance, wholeness is the children's bread. The second miracle we're looking at today. Luke 13 verses 10 through 17. Here was a woman. We don't know at what stage in life at what age this problem came you know just imagine maybe she was a teenager or she was in her 20s I don't know when but at some point she was stricken with this problem and now she had this problem for 18 years look at what Jesus said about her problem he said Satan has bound her see you and I must be very clear in our hearts, in our minds, in our spiritual understanding. Sickness and disease does not come from God. But it is Satan. Jesus clearly identified. Satan has bound her. On what basis did Jesus say she should be free? Jesus said, she is a daughter of Abraham. So you go back in the Old Testament. God, Almighty God, made a covenant, a blood covenant with Abraham. And he said to Abraham, Abraham, this covenant is not only with you, but with all your descendants after you in their generation. So here you have this woman, a couple of thousand years after Abraham. And you know what Jesus is saying? She's got a covenant in her life from Almighty God. She's got a covenant. And on the basis of that covenant, there is healing for her condition. There is wholeness for her condition. Because of that covenant. Are you listening? And so she should not be in this way. What the devil is doing is not right. So on the basis of that covenant, Jesus delivered this woman. Said He broke off what the devil had imposed on her. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. But the anointing of the Holy Spirit set this woman free. She was free that day. Amen. So I want to encourage you and I this morning to realize, to recognize, to come to a spiritual understanding that healing is part of God's covenant blessing on your life. It is yours. You are not trying to convince God to heal you. You are not trying to persuade God to be your healer. He said, I am your healer. He said, I put it on the table. He said, I made it part of the covenant. Take it. It's yours. 
it is yours.